Police are looking for a man who held up two teens on their way to school. They say he had a gun and tried to rob a boy around 6.40 this morning and then a girl about 15 minutes later near Winslow and Elsie Drives. The students were on their way to Woodside High School in Newport News near the York County line. Then on your side, Stephanie Harris went to the neighborhood and she's back now with the latest there. Steph? Tom, police say the students were cutting through a wooded area to get to school. We learned that's how many kids in this area get to class despite fences and warnings. This is the shortcut dozens of kids take to get to Woodside High School every day. You walk straight out, dear yeah, one. The Schools are right there. There are a few spots like this to get into the woods. Vivian McGinnis's home is another. See my my fence over there in the other side is broke because they climbed through it. She says students ignore these signs and hop her fence. She sees them back there smoking and messing around. She knows it's dangerous. It's why she doesn't take any chances with her own 15-year-old. I take her to school every morning. So be safe, there is some. Still, she never expected someone would pull a gun on two students. The group of boys we spotted coming home from school was shocked too. If I would have known that he had a gun before, I definitely wouldn't have walked through there. Another student told us the principal made the announcement warning students to stay out of the woods. He was like, everybody should grab the bus instead of walking to school now. It's a warning police extend to everyone who walks in this neighborhood. That's really scary because that could have been me and my kid. It seems to be sinking in. Yep, I'm taking industrial all the way to Dodges. <laughs> but McGinnis wants more. She'd like to see the trees cut back. She knows it would cost neighbors some privacy and the city a pretty penny. But this mom thinks it's worth it. It's pretty, but it's a mess. Now, police do not have a very good description of the suspect. He was wearing dark clothing and a dark bandana over his face. He didn't take anything from the victims, just went through their backpacks and left. The students were not hurt. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.